I'm working on these azalea shrubs and my plan is to shape them a little bit better. When we bought the house a couple years back, the azaleas were covering more than half of this window. That's how high they were. So when I initially trimmed them back, I took off about probably half a meter or maybe a, a foot and a half. And as I was cutting down, I realized that the, the stems or trunks were growing completely sideways away from the house and uh, towards the light. And so the more I trimmed, the worse they looked. And eventually I just took them right down to the ground. And this is what happened. So they've grown back pretty well. Um, but one of the things I'm noticing are these tall, very straight shoots that have come up. And today I'm going to work on those. I'm going to actually eliminate anything that goes straight up because none of those actually have buds on the ends of them. They just have put a lot of energy into sprouting up and um, we want to remove those just to shape the plants better. And then the other thing, as I'm busy working, I will be pulling out anything that is a, a weed or a shrub or a, something that's, that's been growing. So these are oaks. Um, we have live oaks and um, the little acorns get planted everywhere. So as I'm working, I will eliminate, oh, here's another oak. I think this is a water oak. So we'll go through and weed as we're trimming. And the plan is to, to shape them. I don't mind losing some of the flowers this year. This is the pile of cuttings so far, and you can see how most of them are really, really straight and very tall. And this is what it's looking like now. So you can see how the each shrub is a little more shaped and doesn't look as leggy. And of course I removed all the oaks. I'm gonna just go in here and show you. There's a nice example. You can see how this one shoot is just going straight up but leaning towards the light. And if I was to leave this, it will end up looking just like it did when we bought the house. And because of not being pruned regularly and correctly, the entire azalea shrub grew sideways. So we're going to just trim this right back. So you can just follow it straight down as low as you can go. I'm just thrilled that these shrubs look so much nicer. And now we wait until springtime. And I'm pretty excited. I think we're going to have a really good showing of flowers. We'll check back in and show you how they turn out. One of the mistakes I made years ago was to trim my azaleas in autumn and I didn't realize I was cutting off all of the little tips where the buds are set. The buds set pretty soon after the last flowers fall off. If you do need to prune or trim and shape your azaleas, the best time to do that is after they flower. And you, you can wait a few weeks. It doesn't have to be the day the last flower falls off, but don't wait very long um, because the new flowers will start forming on the tips of the old growth. And they are really a spectacular flower when they look healthy and are in full bloom. So we'll check back in springtime and show you how these shrubs have turned out. Thanks so much for watching.